Yeah, Kellen, a lot, lot of good quarterbacks in in this uh, group down here. What, what do you hope to show this week to, to maybe separate yourself from from the bunch? The question is, there's a lot of good um, I think just my main thing is uh, coming out here, showing my consistency. Um, you know, one in the intermediate game, but also uh, in the deep ball. Um, you know, some of that is just with my feet working faster. So that's kind of been the main thing I've been working on. Um, you know, since the season ended to now, um, just building that awareness. And, you know, coming out here and working on it. But um, you know, being surrounded by a lot of good guys. Um, you know, just trying to come out here and make plays and show my work. Uh, at Texas A&M, you were very vocal and active in the community with social justice issues. Uh, how do you plan on continuing that effort in the NFL? The question is how do you plan to continue social justice? Um, I, I feel like that's just something that's kind of in my blood and, you know, one being a vocal leader for my team and stuff like that, but, um, you know, speaking on, uh, you know, certain things as a social injustice and uh, obviously for a, a lot of people that can be, you know, kind of a touchy topic, but um, I feel like it's something that's super necessary, and, you know, not only college players doing it, but, you know, NFL and so many other like, leagues, so um, I think it's just, you know, my role and my duty, one, to kind of understand the topic and of what I'm speaking on and then, you know, um, you know speak clearly on those things. Did you, feel, did you feel like you showed your more ready for the NFL if you made a late from junior to senior right. year? Yeah, Thank you. Really did you feel like you made a late from junior to senior year that kind of showed you were in a, more NFL ready? The question is, do you feel like you made a jump from junior to senior year to show your NFL uh, you know, I think 100%, and I think, you know, everyone would tell you that. Um, you know, one, just uh, me being a leader, and, um, but, you know, I think, you know, I came into the season, my senior season, with three main things. You know, wanted to prove to um, everybody that I have the ability to go out and win big games, and, you know, I feel like I proved that this year. Um, second is, you know, improve my efficiency on first and second down, but also mainly third down, and, you know, that's why our team and, you know, myself are – um, one of the best third down efficient uh, passers, but also uh, percentage, um, and then cut down on my interceptions. So my sophomore year and junior year, I had nine interceptions each, um, and then my last year I had three. So you know, those were really the three main things I wanted to focus on coming into my senior year. How much has the change in the game in the NFL helped you with more RPO type situations for quarterbacks like you who are mobile and can pass? Say that again. I'm sorry. How do you feel like? Kind of the switch you see to be moving in the NFL, moving more to RPO type quarterbacks and quarterbacks that are, can move around. How much does that help you going in? Uh, I, I think that's something that's huge. And, um, you know, obviously being able to move around, you know, run for third downs, but, um, you know, some of the athletic people just being athletic in the pocket, and that could just be with one small pocket movement um, and get the ball out your hand. So, um, obviously, that's something that I, you know, take a lot of pride in. and see some of the best guys in the NFL doing it, you know, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson. Um, so that just adds a lot more to the game along with, you know, number one being, you know, passing efficient. So after being out here for a couple days, Kellen, how do you think Jimbo has prepared you for this moment? The question is, how do you feel like Jimbo has prepared you for this moment? Um, you know, I, I think it's, uh, uh, I'm not going to say it was a kind of easy transition coming out here and, you know, learning a whole new playbook, but I feel like it was a lot easier, um, you know, for me than, um, many other people, just uh, the style of runs that we that we run, just a multitude of different runs. Um, you know, some of these longer plays that we had at Texas A&M, and you know, also just the ability to um, read and diagnose coverage. So, um, you know, I definitely thank him a lot for you know what he's taught me, and you know, I definitely see it translating to the NFL. Talking about the RPOs and your mobility, probably not going to get to see a lot of that from you this week, I would assume. How do you? Is there ways you can make that show up though in, in this setting? Uh, I mean, I think just no matter what the situation is, just make the right decision and be efficient. Um, obviously, you can't predetermine you know, if you're going to run or pass. You just got to you know, trust yourself and you know, trust what you've learned out here uh, with the Carolina Panthers. So, um, you know, obviously, you can't predetermine any of that. How did playing in the SEC, and especially last year, the 10-game conference-only schedule, prepare you for competition like this? Uh, I mean, you know, especially for me being a four-year um, SEC quarterback, it definitely helped me. And, you know, some of these guys are, um, you know, SEC caliber players, but, you know, they're all great players. So, um, you know, for me and, you know, I think in a lot of people's opinion, the SEC is the closest thing to um, the L NFL caliber players. So, um, obviously being able to compete at that level is, um, 
definitely a huge blessing for me.